Hello, my name is Tyler Weingartner and I wanted to share with you today a project that I've been working on, which is a time-lapse panning controller for GoPro cameras. So this is it. It doesn't look like much. Um, it's powered by Arduino. It's actually my first Arduino project, which is not to say that I didn't go through all the hello world blinking light kind of tutorial kind of things uh, that you normally start out with with that project. But this is, this is a thing that I wanted that I was pretty sure could be built using the platform. And I thought it would be a good way to learn to figure out how to start building the platform and a good way to just learn it in general. Arduino is a platform that I, I really can't say enough good things about. It's amazing, it's incredible what other people have built using it, and uh, I'm really impressed with how easy it is to learn. Uh, but without going too much into that, um, let's take a look at how this thing works and what's going on inside. I wanted the design of the device to be completely self-contained. I wanted to be able to independently set the start and finishing position of the camera, as well as being able to set a runtime for the time lapse. The device won't actually control when the camera fires. That's all handled by the software and the GoPro itself. The device can be powered by USB or by a 9 volt battery. Inside, the design is fairly simple. On the bottom part of the chassis, we see the structure for the output shaft and the stepper motor. The motor is a fairly common and cheap one, the 28BYJ48. I think I bought it for under $6 on Amazon. The output shaft and supporting structure are made from Hillman Hobby Parts, which you can pick up at Lowe's Hardware, though you should be able to make something similar out of Erector or similar products. I used these two gears to slow down the output from the motor to a 3 to 1 ratio to get more precision. The gears were a bit pricey, around $12 each from SDPSI. You might be able to find something cheaper. The rest of the device is comprised of the Arduino Uno board and the Saint Smart LCD keypad shield. There's really nothing to speak of in the way of circuit design here. The shield plugs straight onto the Arduino headers, although I did solder these additional male headers onto the keypad shield so it would have enough pins left over to power and control the motor. You'll need five total. The keypad shield is available on the same smart website for $8, and the project enclosure I picked up at Radio Shack for only five. I feel it's worth mentioning that I'm not an engineer, nor knew anything about electronics when I started this project. I just knew a bit of programming, and that I really wanted a device like this and thought it would be fun to build one. It's been an incredible process, and I can't wait to explore Arduino further. Let's take a look at some examples of what I've captured using this device. very much for watching this video about my time-lapse panning controller for GoPro cameras. Um, if you have any questions for me, please ask them in the comments below. And if you're curious about other projects I'm going to be working on in the future, I plan on documenting them more in depth rather than this kind of here's the project now that it's done and here's how it works kind of format that this one is. If you're interested in that kind of thing, hit the subscribe button below. If you're interested in following me on Twitter, you can do that at, at the underscore real underscore Tyler W. I want to thank my wife and Devin Carraway, two separate people, for helping me get started with Arduino, and also the entire open source maker community for being super inspiring and helping me along the way. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.